What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back with the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to run off where we left off last time, we are attacking the final stronghold of the United States, seeking to wipe them off the map. And without further ado, let's crack on. If we win this, the United States is booted out of the game, uh, having to probably fight on the European continent. If things look like they're going to go the way they do, which means I'm probably not going to fight Prussia. But I'd like to fight Prussia to knock all of their armies off of the continent because they are quite, quite entrenched. That's the diplomatic word I'd use. Oh, what was, oh Jesse Venturus, he's dug in like an Alabama tick. Oh yeah, because they have no defences. Well, let's artillery it up a bit then. Boom, 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 boom. What good is having all these guns if you don't actually use them? So being aware that there are troops coming, there are reinforcements coming from either side, so... So you go, go there... Give each guy a thing of artillery, then my general. Oh, musketeros. Go there. Brilliant shot. But yeah, they're acknowledging they can't just sit there. Let's force the eyes to take some of the initiative. Their artillery's bugged. Oh, I can see the shells coming in. Oh god, they're coming... They're coming right for us. I did kill some of my own troops with canister sharp, but I think I had to accept those sorts of losses. So by the time they reload, they'll probably be within range. Look at these poor look at these guys, these two. The game really doesn't like killing off units with gunfire. Oh, there he did. He got shot as he reached the line. I don't, need to charge. I don't even need to charge my cuirassiers in. Just walk them in. Chop down the dragoons. Not great. Not great grape shot position, but you know. Oh well, they actually made, managed to make my uh, militia route. So let's send in my. Fire at the native tribal auxiliary. 
Yeah, I'm gonna send my send my crosshairs in. So where are their reinforcements going to come from? That's what I want to know. Oh god, no. May as well send my crosshairs to go farm some kills. Everyone's in full retreat. Send these guys to go knock out the gun. Hmm. Go head off their general, I suppose. Immediately! Immediately die! Drop some shells on that square formation. Get you guys to focus on there. They're running out of. They've run out of uh, the range of the cannon, which is smart. Come on, choppy chop. So they're routing infantry. Got the general. Now go hit the gun. I wonder if we can make their army. I wonder if I can make the army route before. Or maybe the reinforcements didn't come in. The army didn't make it here in time. In which case, then, the loss of this gun crew will be the loss of the United States. The, the, the death of the first regiment of artillery will cause the US to be destroyed. Oh, no, wait, there's their first reinforcement unit. Let's see if I can do this. If I can make them route before any other any, any other reinforcements come in, will that end it before without having to kill the rest of the reinforcements? Maybe. In theory, every single army. Yeah, it is. So it wasn't the death of the first artillery battalion, it was this regiment of uh, native militia down. The army had routed, and suddenly a load of natives with bows were expected to come in and save the day. I don't think so. But Pedro Garocho against Barnaby Bosley. Victory is ours. We have secured the territory. Now immediately move up. Oh, they're going to be angry for a minute until this army gets in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can tell they were very unhappy. They're building theatres everywhere. Let's fix you. Let's fix you. No, wait a minute. This is a Protestant building. 
Destroy it. Get a fur trader on the go. Good, good, good. So that's that army dealt with. Mi señor. Por la izquierda. En marcha. Sí, señor. Soldados, adelante. But I need to see what we're gonna do. Oh, the Prussians. Oh, well, I'm definitely at war with the Prussians then. Sorry, Prussia. Well, I say sorry, Prussia. It's what I wanted. So I want this army when it's finished. Uh, finished replenishing to go up here and hit Quebec. And secure it. Ooh, it's going to be a bit dicey here to see if... Uh, that's a bold statement. It might just cause this army to go around this way. Which if they do, fair enough. But I think I just wanted to kind of... The AI might have been open to declaring war on me if... Uh, if it could do it on its terms and choose when it entered the border. But now... Oh, no. Quebec's not having it. Trade... No. <laughs> so they're going to go try capture Quebec. You know, the Prussian faint. Ooh, maybe. I might try go for an alliance with Britain. Maybe. Well, no, Britain's at war with Prussia. Or is it? No, I don't think it is. Might be worth trying for an alliance with Britain. Could be a time to action what some of you guys have thought about doing. Act let's make Britain an ally and let's seal that alliance with giving them Spain. Because it would mean that the Austrians, well, the Austrians would have to attack Britain. I know this, they're already at war with the Swedes, but there is unused land suitable yeah, for farming. This yeah, yeah, there you go. Building farms here will help the Hoppage farmland. Good, good, good. Just keep building up the army buildings. How's their army? Loads of dragoons. Loads and loads of dragoons. So I want you to be a... Oh, I can't... Okay. Can't make any of these a church school to get priests. Speaking of, where is my priest? 100% Catholic, 100% Catholic. Send you to Williamsburg, then in a handful of turns you'll convert them completely. Well, in a few turns you'll complete them. You'll convert them. Oh, yes. So they're getting two units of howitzers. Oh no, no they're not. Two units of howitzers and a line infantry unit. Oh no, I don't need howitzers. Let's go for another a strong unit of artillery, then let's get three units of infantry. Just the two. Or I could just do this. And do this. Give them the 24 pounder. Move them up. Okay, let's move them up into position because obviously they want to be in a good spot before they, before we actually declare war. So we're going to want two howitzers, we're going to want some more artillery, we're going to want some marines. Good. So we need to get me a slot for six, six infantry, so three, we need to lose three units. So let's take these three line infantry, drop them in the star fort where this other army sits. And then let's get some let's get some artillery for you infantry some yeah let's get some artillery for you let's get you know household cavalry mm. 
Mm. Let's get some American infantry mercenaries just to spice this army up a bit because they're a very irregular army as it is. Oh no, you can supply the artillery for there, so let's just cancel that. Good. So diplomacy. Britain, we are friendly. You're allied with Austria. At war with Prussia and Quebec. Charlotte the first. Looks like someone's died based on the black thing, would you? So Austria, you see, Austria's not at war with anyone, but they're allied with many people. We are not one of them. So I think. Am I even able to? I am. So let's go to Spain. Let's cancel recruitment of these. Let's group you together. Because all these things, all, all of my units will immediately teleport out. So now let's wait one more turn. So what units can I recruit in Spain? Ah, oh, there's nothing I can recruit. I can recruit in Spain. I can't recruit here for anything. There's more. I can recruit in Portugal. So let's cancel building these buildings. So let's do diplomacy. Britain. Quest Alliance. We'll offer Spain. And we demand... Ooh. Shrapnel shot. Good. So now Britain has Spain. Well, Britain has this region. So maybe... Is Britain at war with Genoa? Nope. They're allied with Genoa. So then I want this. Uh, so I want... To be honest, this, this will be enough. So let's take this force away. Let's draw you. Let's get you into the into the city and let's get you. We'll keep you there. Actually, I might build a fort here. Because that's within striking distance of Madrid if they act up. Let's go take these guys to secure Reykjavik. I said it's the loss of the military dockyard that's more frustrating. The money's very by the by. Oh god. Well, yeah. So chomp. Let's fortify it as our only allowed post. As you make so little money, let's make Iceland a tax haven to simulate its uh, <laughs> its status today. They have nothing to trade, so we just basically want a. No, want the military dockyard facing that way. Population is very good. Growth is very good. Don't have any roads. Might as well do a trade port. If I'm going to keep you tax free, then there's no point building a fishing port because your population growth is going to be excellent. That's 5.5%. Even then, if I'm not going to tax you, there's no point building a trade port to earn well, so I may as well build a local fishery. Tactical retreat? Absolutely. Iceland has been secured, and that's going to be our harbour of choice. So let's take these Indiamen. Well, firstly, let's take this fleet to where my future shipyard will be. Let's take these Indiamen up to the trade port. And let's get this fleet into port. And let's get this sloop... I don't know, kamikaze itself into Russia. So at least now we can focus on Russia. Because you've got good relationships with Britain. Can they sail all the way in? They can. Droop. So Britain's an ally of ours. Which means Austria won't want to attack us, because we're an ally of an ally. Which means it will give us a chance to focus on the Prussians... And the Russians. 
And you take a few turns to get to Yankton. Cool. Everyone's being replenished. All my stuff has been researched. Yeah, I lost university, but it wasn't one of the better ones. Cool. Yeah, here comes the Quebecians. To be honest, the Prussians were were friendly. Well, yeah, so... Wait. The Prussians are allied with Quebec. So... Where are you going with those, mister? Don't you do it. Maybe they're going to go at war with the Prussians. If they did, that would be kind of ideal then, maybe. It means I could, I could uh, let them scrap it out for the territory, let them weaken, and then... and then um, end up taking what's left. But as of right now, my focus is going to be war with Russia, because right now... not a war with Britain. Oh yeah, Quebec and Prussia. I know, but they are allies. But I presume they're going to do the old... They're going to switch. Yeah, my focus is going to be war with Russia. There is in this intermediate stage. In this region. So can you leave yet? Yes, you can. So let's bring you over... Over to here. This army, when it's ready, is probably going to go and become one of the armies that's going to wait here and see what the see what happens. But I'm going to start shipping troops over to. I guess we could start doing with this guy. So let's take you guys. Creating some house of cavalry. They don't have the top artillery, sadly, so I'll, I'll hold off before buying some of that. Two marines, two guards, two grenadiers. Sounds good to me. I can get blended by shotgunners, uh, guerrillas, Irish brigade, expats, conscripts, West European mercenaries. Have I got light infantry already? Mi señor. Nope. Well, to be honest, I'm recruiting more than I need, so let's do that. Yeah, we'll go up there, then let's cancel re uh, recruitment of Indiamen for now. Ultimately, this army will also become a, a force to attack Russia, although I might send this one round to the north and hit Archangel. I think that'd be a good plan. I could probably do it now, but I want to have... I'd rather have a stronger force so that when I do eventually go for it... Um, if, any, if, if Russians do start to try to respond and go for me, then I can take them out. What about the Crimean Carnate? Protector of Russia. Well, they're going to be a target for sure. One of these armies is going to go take Crimea. Because they're currently... No, they're not trading. Well, no, sorry. They are trading. But if I take the Crimean Carnet, it opens up a whole load of trade spots. That also means I can start to threaten um, Kiev. I mean, it starts to open up a front with Austria again. But I don't know. Maybe I might take Crimea and just hold on to Crimea. Just to spite them for modern day. Good, All right. And you're still super annoyed if I leave. Yeah, in turn. Go on, Quebec. Do it! Attack them! Do it!
Hmm. So Austria's put a put an army in Marseille. Prussians are, are they going for Britain again? Hmm. They need to keep an eye on where the Marathas have gone. Because they sailed an army. A there fleet, a sorry. In this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah. Select the time Prussians spotted me. There's lots of good investment going on. Let's replenish and bring you up to here. Got a smithy. Furs. Come on, you must become fond of me now. I'm giving you so much, so many jobs. Good, so got the cavalry in. Then the rest of the crewmen to go. So let's just recruit two more marines. To support. Oh no, wait, this army has marines, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So it wants some howitzers. But there's no point in getting them yet, because I'm about to get some brand new, really good ones. Oh, they knocked down my. Oh no, I must not have got finished upgrading it, because one of these around here is a. Oh no, wait, it was already a Catholic religious building. Plenty of stuff being built. Good, All right, and turn again. Aha, so they're ready to go attack. The army for Yankton. Quebec are absolutely loading up. I think, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to do a bit of a betrayal and go for the Prussians again. I need to keep an eye on what happens in London. Because if the Prussians go for it, because they've just landed a whole stack, so if the Prussians take it, that could be quite a big problem. Oh, the Swedes are amphibiously assaulting somewhere. Yeah, the, I've got the feeling that Quebec are really annoyed <laughs> that their home territory's been conquered. There's been lots of Hessian line. I want two. I don't want you. I want production run of two, four houses. That's what I'd like. So if I take this army out of Iceland, you still like me. So let's get you back to. Don't take you in the trade ships for now. Drop them off the coast here, within range of my big fleet if they're attacked. Who knows, maybe I might get time to get them back. Oh, just out. Take take refuge in Hoffen. Oh no, they're not going to have room. There we go. Perfect. Still Indian on the go. You've been built. Let's get building. You must be the happiest people ever. Oh, you're a bit grumpy that I'm your Protestant and I'm Catholic. But I'm not going to ship a uh, ship a priest all the way out there. Okay, so when you get your artillery, then you're going to be shipped to... Well, this army. Oh, the trouble is, do we send this army to go knock out the Crimean Carnate? 
Or do I send them to take... Ooh, or do I send them to knock out the Barbary States? I'm at peace with the Barbary States, and they're being a good little... Or do I take the, some, like, the, take Malta? Because they've got a big old fleet and a big old garret. Well, actually, that big old fleet will... Well, no, that won't stop me from landing, because it'll get destroyed. I could secure Malta, but as they're currently leaving me alone, I don't think I will. I think I'll sail straight on past... And go for Crame Incarnate to knock them out. Then if I start taking up here, I can start making moves in into Russia. Perfect. So you've got two stacks. One, yeah, this one, when it's replenished, will go up and take some of the Northern Territories. Like up here in these two. And this other one will go and hit Crimea and start interfering in the south. Cool, that sounds like a plan to me. Right, let's hit end turn. Uh, you've got plenty of artillery. God, the Greeks are up to something. Demanding a trade agreement. No. You can't, you can, you're not to demand anything, Quebec. But yeah, the knock-on effect is that when I take them out, it'll open up a lot of trade slots. Which, if I've got any full, well, I do have full stacks, but if I do knock them out in one turn, I'll split those full stacks into half stacks to secure the nodes, and then I'll start shipping out trade ships to go and replace them on station, or to fill out the stacks. I need to be. I do need to be concerned about that because <laughs> the AI is doing amphibious invasions. Sweden's being chased by someone, or well, Sweden is doing the chasing. Is Sweden and Prussia at war? Wow, I've got a feeling they've lost Copenhagen, or well, they've taken Copenhagen. Copenhagen's been damaged by someone. Sweden. Sweden is at war with Prussia, so hopefully Sweden's chasing down those stacks. Why are we requesting an alliance? Insult? What would I do you? I've stayed well out of the way. I've stayed well out of the way of you. Okay, let's hit and turn again, just to speed up. Ooh. This is some nice ships. And don't waste your time with top gallants. Instead, get on with some of these economic ones, like national debt. Because so everyone's about to get slightly unhappy, but my technology research rate is going to go through the roof. Well, not through the roof, plus 12%. Hmm. God damn it, I wish I could sink that fleet just to stop stop me from having to see it all the time. Go on Austria, fight Prussia. Fight Prussia, break up your alliance. There's a port in this region that right has not yet been developed. Let's diplomacy. Let's start buttering up Sweden. You're most generous. Exactly I am. Let's ally. I don't want to talk about the things you've gone through. No, oh, fair enough. You'll like me eventually. Ooh, Savoy. Let's trade. Ah, oh, Venice. Let's trade. Oh. 
absolute construction fest though. Yeah, we're all done. Put an army down here against the border, ready to. No! Nuts! Forgot you hated me. Uh, do you need anything? No, you didn't need anything. Let's bring the guns back. There we go. Let's equip you with howitzers. Get you into the ships. Embark. I think I do want to send you up here. So. Go hit Archangel. I don't know if I want to hit St. Petersburg directly, um, but at least this way I might be able to support, support Sweden in a, in a sort of indirect way. Then you also get your howitzers. And that means you could probably do with two more units of artillery and some skirmishes. Two more units of conventional artillery. And some skirmishes of some sort, which it's got to be guerrillas. Cool. One tent or quick climb. New Haven's could take forever to research anything. It's got no gentlemen, so it may as well carry on with. Well, that's ten turns. That's probably the lowest, the cheapest thing. Now you carry on with machine tools instead. Cool. Um, but looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, the not not a lot so um, happened in this part. Um, but yeah, it's, it's set the groundwork for the for the uh, the end game of my campaign, I think. Because looking at my, I've got to capture fourteen more regions, which is which you know, if I went, oh, I also need to declare war. On, don't declare war. Don't call in my allies. I need to capture fourteen regions. Thinking, well, that's twelve, ten, eight. So if I just secured the continent of the United States, that means I need to catch eight more. So it means I can do some limited action against the Russians. Or, you know, maybe just bolt straight for Kiev. No, for Moscow, sorry. Could well be. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm looking at, looking at, yeah, well, as I said, looking at the timer, it's time to end this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.